Countdown star Susie Dent joined Simon Rimmer and Tim Lovejoy on Channel 4's Sunday Brunch and spoke about her time and experience on the iconic game show. She has been a staple on the show for 30 years and opened up about the changes which have been made over the years and how she feels the cast and crew on the show feel like a family. Introducing her to the show, Tim asked, You've been the longest serving member on Countdown, how many years? Susie replied fondly, I know I used to say it was just me and the clock, and then the clock was replaced, so I have been on there since, well first appearance was in 92, so forever. Gobsmacked at how long she had been on the show, Tim exclaimed, wow, so 30 years this year. Simon continued, it never stops being fun, it's a great format, but there's something cozy about Countdown in a nice way Susie agreed and replied, yes, it's really, it's just a got a lovely vibe to it, whenever the guests come on they will always say that it's just got a really nice family feel to it. It's a cliché to say we're a family, but we really are, I mean, a lot of the production crew have been there for as long as I have, and it's brilliant. It is almost about the format too, Simon, because if you watch people come on to Cats Down, you will see people laughing their heads off at Jimmy and the team. But actually, they're trying to get the longest word, they're trying to crack the numbers game so. Countdown has a sister show called Date Out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, which Susie is also a long-standing member of. Curious about Susie's abbreviation, Tim asked, it's the simplicity, why do you call it Cats Down? Susie revealed, 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown is just too much of a mouthful, so Rachel and I decided on Cats Down. She went on to speak about her love of words and revealed she has always loved them since she was younger. Dot Countdown has a sister show called Date Out of 10 Cats Does Countdown, which Susie is also a long-standing member of. Curious about Susie's abbreviation, Tim asked, it's the simplicity, why do you call it Cats Down? Susie revealed, 8 out of 10 Cats Does Countdown is just too much of a mouthful, so Rachel and I decided on Cats Down. She went on to speak about her love of words and revealed she has always loved them since she was younger. Tim asked, have you found that your smartphone has distracted you from your love of words and reading like the rest of us? Well, yes and no, she began, so instead of looking up words in the 20 volume OAD, Oxford English Dictionary, I now have the OED on my phone, so I can just literally look something up. Also, I'm such an eavesdropper, I think to be a lexicographer or a linguist, you have to be good at eavesdropping, so if I hear something in the lure here, I'll just jot it down in my phone and remember, you know, just silly turns of phrase like a couple of women in the loo once saying, look at the massive coleslaw in my lip. Or just you know a couple of people in the coffee queues saying, that's the whole crotch of the matter. Simon went on to ask, are there words that really annoy you that people pronounce incorrectly? Susie revealed, the one that I really use to get on my nerves but doesn't anymore is mischievous, but it's become such a snapshot of language in action. If I do a show, for example, the younger generation always rhyme it with devious, but that's the way the language changes, so I have decided it's fascinating rather than annoying. Sunday Brunch airs every Sunday at 9.30pm on ITV.